Hello everybody. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your little flying pterodactyl. Here it is here. You've seen the picture. Little cutie. And so um, for this activity, I've got a little helper. Come on in, Felix. Hello. Come on, come on. So Felix, this is what we're going to do this afternoon. Ooh. And you'll notice that in your pack, you've got lots of different pieces of paper. So the first one we're going to need is this big square. Felix, can you cut down one of those folds for sure. me, please? This is going to make your body and um, your wings, this particular piece. So cut all the way down for me. That's it, keep going. Sorry, I'm trying to make him use right-handed scissors and he's left-handed, so that's not the easiest trick in the book, is it, to do? Okay. You okay, you're managing? Okay. That's it. Great. So then now you've got two big triangles. So this one is going to be your pterodactyl's body, but I'll suffer you the pain of doing another one. You need to cut the next triangle in half. And then you've got two smaller ones. Now, Felix, what I did with my little fellow is I gave some little swooshes. You can decorate your wings however you like. I've just got some little swooshes. So can you put some little swooshes on the wings? Doesn't matter however you want to do it. Just a couple on each. Yep. Good. And the same on the other one. You can do it on both sides, one of the sides. And what you're going to do is you're going to get your triangle body part open and the flat side down to your knees. Uh, triangle up. And you're going to put a triangle up and a triangle up. So you're going to glue them like that. So, quick bit of glue on here, Felix, and I'll get you to stick it on. So can you stick that onto there for me? Yeah. And then we just need to make sure that we match up those two triangles as best we can when they're closed. So you might need to do a little bit of adjusting, press it down, and then we're going to fold it. Let's have a look, see if they match up. So when the, oh, look at that. That's pretty good, pretty well matched. Okay, so then here it is like this. Then we need to get the smaller square folded in half. And that is gonna be your little pterodactyl's head. So Felix, maybe a little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue there on both points. Yep, that's it. And that now, Felix has put glue here and here. We're going to stick that on. Stick on your pterodactyl's head. Like that. There you go. Now, in your packs, you have some googly eyes, which is what my little friend here has got. He's got his googly eyes on. Or you might like to have a go at drawing some eyes. So, so Felix and they has got those. Look like these. Yep, yep. So I've made some, some white eyes and drawn a black dot. You might like to give yours eyelashes or um, different colours. So we're going to get those stuck on, Felix, please. And then whilst Felix is sticking the eyes on, you need your two strips. So these strips will be the um, pulleys. To make the wings flap. That's it, to make the wings flap and can look a bit like the pterodactyl's legs. So on the other side, let's turn. So there's one eye and then pop his other eye on. That's it, all done. So matching them up. Attention to detail there. That's it, press it on. And then what you're going to need to do for your little flaps are just fold the top piece on each. So those little um, folded pieces are going to stick onto your wings, on the outside of your wings like that. So you might want to just decorate its legs. I might just do some dots. Mm -hmm. You can do some dots on the other one, Felix. But remember to um, do it, Not you can't do it like that, otherwise you can't see the decoration. True. You have to do it... Um, how you bent it. That's it, on the side that's bent. Okay, so you can do some dots on that one. And maybe you might like to cut some claws in, cut out some 
triangles to make some claws for your pterosaur. There we go, jiggity jaggedy. And then gluing on the flap. That's it. And Felix, you can stick that one on and I'll cut some claws. Oops, let's put the glue over there. Cut some claws in the bottom. One, two, just pull it out. There we go. And then I think it's going to have to go up a little bit higher, my love. Okay. So probably about halfway on the wing. Make sure you give it a good press down and then some glue on this bit. And Felix, if you can stick that on the other side. There we go, about halfway. See if you can match up the feet at the bottom. Yeah. And then your little pterodactyl can take flight. So give it a good press. Nice big press down. Oh, oh no, that's okay. Good press. And then you're going to hold your pterodactyl's body at the point. Open up your wings and off he goes. Very good, Felix. So good luck. And again, if you can take some photos and send us, we'd love to see them. We hope you get out and about with your flying pterodactyls in your garden or around your house. See you soon.